Okay, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, things like uh, Octopus saving sessions and power-ups. Um, so just have a look at my um, Redback configuration here. Um, one thing to mention, if, if you're an Octopus and you're using the um, Octopus energy integration, then if you set Octopus saving session, which I think is the default to point towards the sensor for that, then saving sessions will be automatically detected and joined. If you comment this out, then obviously it won't automatically detect or join saving sessions. So you've got a choice there. The saving sessions octa points per penny is set to eight, which is the current rate, but obviously that changes in the future. You can change this without having to get a new release. Um, so this will allow automatic dealing with saving sessions. Um, what will happen in the saving session is you see that your energy rates for import and export will report at quite a high rate. It'll be whatever the saving session rate is. The reason is obviously for export. <clears throat> Assuming you've got an export tariff, that is, if you've got a zero export, then they won't report at all. But if you've got an export tariff, they'll report at the high rate because you can make money by exporting and the import will report at the high rate because obviously it's assuming you can cut down energy by that amount. It doesn't mean you'll actually be charged that if you do a bunch of import, you'll just be charged your normal rate, but it's the way it's modeled. Um, one thing that's new now is there's a new setting called load scaling for saving session. <clears throat> and I've set mine to 0 0.8, the default is 1.0, but this is how much you will expect your house to cut down your energy usage by during the saving session. For people with export tariffs, it doesn't make much difference, except if your lo household load is so high that actually trying to export won't really do anything, but actually what you do is plan to cut it down by, say, turning off your heat pump or something, in which case set this to a lower value and then prep that no, that you're planning on cutting down your energy and then it's actually worth exporting after all. Um, so it's worth looking at that. The other way you can deal with power-ups, which unfortunately don't have an API, and saving sessions is by this manual energy rate override. So what you'll find is there'll be a template for it here, rates import override, and there's also rates export override. So if I turn this on, for example, I can give a date, um, say today at um, for example, um, I'm going to go with 11 a.m. until 11.30, <clears throat> and I can say my rate is actually zero. Load scaling I can set here to say how much I might adjust my energy consumption by during that period. So let's say it's a power up, I'm going to go one and a half x on my energy consumption. So if I save that now, and then I'm going to just um, wait for my plan to update a second. So <clears throat> my plan's now updated from that rate override. If I look at it in the HTML, you can see import rate is zero. It's now going to charge the battery to take advantage of that. Um, and you can also see my load scaling has gone up. So normally my load's been around 0.27, it's got to 0.42, so that load scaling's also taken effect. Um, the other way I could have done this would be just using the force charge option to say I want to charge, but this is actually giving details about the rates instead. Um, going back to the file editor here, obviously if it were um, a saving session and you weren't on Octopus and you wanted to do that, um, then you could just put rates import override. You could set the rate to the higher rate, like one pound, two pound. You could also do a rate export override at the same rate, and that would do the same thing as the auto opt-in. Um, so that allows you to add your, your sessions manually. Um, well, hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching.